All right, guys, got the deionizer out. First time, let me show you sort of my plan on how I'm gonna connect this. So actually, I didn't wanna do that. This is gonna stay on the pressure washer. I'm gonna pull this off of the wall. Quick connect right into the deionizer. Deionizer, quick connects to the wall. Turn it on. Read zero, turn the water on. It's filling it up. Still hear it flowing through. I uh, turn the pressure washer, is pressure down to about 600 PSI, so I'm not wasting unneeded water. Here's the problem. Um, G on foam. All right, so I got the pressure washer. Got the pressure washer cannon here. Anyway, G on foam is going in the trash. I'm sorry, I'm not smelling it to anybody. If you want to come to my house and get it. But um, it basically stripped the colonite off the car. So now there's virtually no beading. I mean, it's, the reason I know it was the G on foam is because um, I don't have G on foam on my, I, I didn't G on foam the M3 and it's perfect. Beating just like normal. All right, so we got deionized water. Let me squirt some of this out. I'm squirting the rest of the water out through the line. Now the pressure washer is going to use a little more, a little less water than the regular hose, so I kind of like my quick little setup here. The wheels off, and then just turn the pressure down. I'm assuming I'm going to use less water with less pressure, but I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe that's a bad philosophy. No, I'm still going to dry the car, but theoretically I would be able to let this dry. Sitting right on the car. All right, that's the story. Deionized the car with, or rinse the car with some deionized water, which theoretically should be spot free. Pressure washer isn't too heavy with me sucking through the deionizer. All right, cool. Still reading zero. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with this thing now. Let's see. A little ISO back in here. Okay. So now I'm gonna disconnect everything and turn the water off. Probably should read the directions, but. 
pressure out. done so that, that really doesn't add all that much more uh, steps into my already my process I already have so I'm assuming it'll hold the water in there there we go um, I, I'm also guessing that you probably probably need to. Um, I probably need to run the water through it too. So I don't know how spot free this first rinse is going to be. So I'm not going to base my first my opinion on this first wash. I should probably, like I said, probably read the instructions. But obviously, I'd need to let the water out, or you know, let some of the regular water run through the pressure washer so give it a minute spray off and then start spraying off the car Let's see how it goes seems like a cool little step i don't wash my car in the rain that much and or not in the rain in the sun that much and i've got some good water here i don't have i haven't had any problems with water spotting or anything like that etching from hard water. All right, so I'll, I'll let you know in the future here how this works, but FYI, Geon foam, don't do it, it's junk.